Oh my God. Yo, Black China reportedly made $20 million a month from OnlyFans. Okay, if we do the math on that for a year, that would be $240 million. It sounds inconceivable that Black China. Let me look her up on Instagram right now, man. Who the fuck is buying Black China? Is Black China fucking on OnlyFans? Is she? Hold on, let me look at Reddit, bro. I know Reddit got this shit. I'm going to use my other computer. I don't want to get banned. Hold up. Black China OnlyFans. Wait, is she on is she on there sucking dick? Wait, Black China on there fucking? Oh hold on. I gotta make sure this audio don't come in. Oh shit. This is Black China. Oh, the pussy's out. Holy. Nigga, I didn't know she was on there doing that. Black China. Black China only fans. Wait. Is she fucking? I can't tell. I, I see one with her pussy out, but I can't tell if she in there fucking fucking. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yo, so I just did an interview with uh, Amber Rose. I think Amber Rose is pivoted. She want to get into music. I've always thought that, like, yo, um, Black China just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth in the sense of I knew, like, it was... Remember when Black China was, like, super popular, always in the media? Then she had a... Situation with Rob Kardashian. She was mixed up with that. Obviously, Tiger before. Once I seen her starting to date, like, remember when she started dating anybody? And these, like, apparently this was what's going around the industry. $15,000 and you could date Black China. It was just like, she was doing mad fake relationships. You give her $15,000, you, you, you date her. And I'm like, word? So you've seen everybody with her. You get what I mean? Like, everybody was just like, they were trying to use the... They're trying to get the money bag, yo, Ari stimulus package. They're like, oh, we're with her. But, like, at that point, nobody even took it serious, right? I think we seen even, we saw even Kid Boo with her. You know what I mean? Somebody said it was good promo. I thought she had just fallen off. I'm going to keep it real with you. The word on the streets and this was this what was talked about in LA because apparently I think she still lives out there. People said she was she's heavy on coke and heavy on drugs, and that basically um, the dope thing about her is that she tricks on men. Which uh, again, I can't verify none of these things to be true, but that was the talk about Black China that she has a big and heavy drug habit. That's what people were saying about her. So they were like, "Yo." Like, she, she just blows her money on maintaining her drug habit. She likes younger men, and she don't mind getting with a younger dude and spoiling the younger dude. But I didn't know she was making $240 million a, a year. Radical says, this got to be capped. She just did a boxing event. That is true. She did do a boxing event. If you made $240 million, that boxing event, I don't think even netted her a million dollars. I don't think the entry was that high to net her a million dollars. If you're making $240 million a year, why do a boxing event for probably less than a million? Did she get beat up? By the way, I'm, I'm going to read this report before I, I, I go to the boxing shit. Looks like OnlyFans is still a cash cow. Let me just make this a little bigger. For the top creators during the pandemic, during the lockdown 2020, OnlyFans subscribers and content surge as people found new ways to make money, blah, blah, blah. Variety. So this, I, I was going to call a cap on this, but Variety released, recently released OnlyFans numbers for 2021, showing that its net revenue grew from 160% 
to uh, um to 932 um million and the company had pre-tax profits of 433 million up from the 61 million in 2020s biggest yearly profits um creators walked around or walked away with the huge profits as reported they earned 3.6 billion that year with two with 2 million creators a 34% increase and they want and a 188 million subscribers which jumped 128% Okay, our creator first list approach, blah, blah, blah. All right, let me just get to the important part. The report also named the platform's top earning star, Black China, according to OnlyFans, which, by the way, the info was given to Variety from OnlyFans. She rakes in $20 million a month with Bella Thorne. Hey, Bella Thorne don't fuck on there. She just be, like, showing, like, little ass pictures, right? Um, taking a second spot with making $11 million a month. So Bella Thorne would made of $121 million, I believe. And um, third is Cardi B, who reportedly makes $9 million each month, which probably makes it. What does Cardi post on OnlyFans? In past, both Ruby Rose and Bad Baby have bragged about how much they've made on a platform to the tune of millions. Let me see if I can look up the actual article. Variety is a very uh, official source, especially an industry official source. Everybody looks to it, and nobody ever questions it when it puts out information. Variety, OnlyFans. Let me Okay, here it is. Oh. Yeah, okay, so they said the same thing. But they're they're quoting Statista or Statista as where they're getting the info from, not necessarily OnlyFans itself. Like some people have reported that OnlyFans is the one saying that they made this money. But OnlyFans only reported that they paid out creators $3.86 billion, which let's put this in comparison. I got I to gotta calculate it real quick. Let me see if I can pull up one online, online calculator. You know, I'm a math major. Okay. So 3.6, um, actually, I'm going to just do it in millions. My bad. I'll do it in millions. So three point six billion is thirty six hundred million, right? So thirty six hundred million. This is what they paid out to creators, and um, okay, I'm gonna have to do it the other way around. That might be confusing y'all. So uh, Black China made two hundred and forty million divided by what the company paid out to all creators divided by, which is thirty six hundred. So essentially, they're saying. Oh, then I got to times it by 100 to get the percentage. They, they're they saying that Black China was 6.7% of all um, creator income on OnlyFans. And she ain't fucking. There's something ain't right about that. Something ain't right about that. General, G General Zilli. 3.6 billion is 3,600 million, bro. Like, it's the same thing, okay? Nigga, I'm the math major, not you. I'm extremely pocket watching. I be pocket watching like a motherfucker. My calculator always out. So essentially, of the 3.6 billion they paid out, 240 million of that is 6.67% of that, which I just highly don't, I just don't believe that Black China shit is so lit. That nearly, I know it's not 10%, but nearly 10% of what they paid to, how many how many creators they said they had on there? Uh, I'm going to tell you how much. Wait, creators. Oh, yeah, the number of creators on a platform increased from the year to two. So they have 2.16 creators, 2.16 million creators, and Black China got almost 10% of the money they gave to everybody. Eh, not believing it, because some of these chicks on there are doing everything to get money. And I think some of them are just, like, bigger in the sense of they're bigger artists. Now, the Cardi B shit, I don't know what Cardi B posts on OnlyFans. And I almost feel like Offset's my mans. Like, Offset texted me, like, yesterday. So I don't really want to Google what what she put on there. Uh, um, Cardi B OnlyFans. What she put on OnlyFans? 
Let me look on Reddit. You put on like feet pictures or something like that? I was talking to Lil Pump about his, his OnlyFans. He said he made a couple million. But Lil Pump was on there wilding. Like, Lil Pump was on OnlyFans literally having foursomes. Yeah, they're not saying nothing's on her, on her OnlyFans. So for her to be making that amount of money on OnlyFans as well, I don't know. Yeah, Lil Pump got an OnlyFans where he's actually fucking chicks. Tiger got one too. <laughs> Somebody said, "Does Lil Pump is don't tell me Lil Pump's on there with smoke perp?" No, nigga. Somebody said, read the bits. I got you. I got you, brody. Uh, who sent him bits? I got to get better reading, like, donations and shit, right? Oh, somebody said, act, she was just complaining about having to return her cars and how hard it is to be a single mom. When she only has two kids, one. Oh yeah, this is. Oh yeah, yeah. Swag Diesel, thank you for that. Swag Diesel, thank you for that, bro. Somebody said we still smoking on that Mark Lamont Hill pack. Very high, nigga. High as a motherfucker. Yo, you're right about that, chat. Thank you for for bringing that up. Like I be I be forgetting about shit. Black China return cars. Look, nigga, this was this year. She said, I had to give up three cars due to no support from my exes. Black China claimed on Twitter that she had to give up three cars because she allegedly receives no support from her exes. She says, yesterday I had to give up three of my cars. Let me see if I can find the original tweet. Oh, she deleted it. Three of my cars, my reasons, moral, beliefs, being a single mother, no support, I am my mama. Yeah, this bitch ain't making no $240 million. Fuck that. Satista. Let me look at this company. The company that reported it. The statistical portal. Where are they getting their data from? Maybe their cap. Despite her vehicular loss, China tweeted out that she's still practicing gratitude. She's 33 and shares a nine-year-old son, King Cairo, with ex-Tiger and five-year-old daughter, Dream, with ex fiance Robert Kardashian. Didn't she also sue the Kardashians? And she got fucked up in court. Black China loses lawsuit. She, was, she sued him for revenge porn. Wait, why did she sue for revenge porn? Oh, no, no, no. It was a $100 million defamation suit. What the fuck? Yeah, nah, this bitch ain't getting no $240 million. I was like, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, listen, listen. Like, I'm not knocking Black China. By the way, she, like, she, me and her, we've communicated with, before in DMs. Um, now now somewhere, she's just on the up and up. She always just seems like, she seems like a really cool person right um but let's be honest bro 240 million dollars knowing how she is nigga should be flexing out of control nigga this is the boxing match right here let's watch it they're in a bbl boxing match that's what it's called no back way. to the bbl fighting championship where we've got two harlots doing battle on a saturday evening because only fan servers are down it's black china alicia megan winner gets no fucking way. This is a, this is actual commentator. The BBL boxing match. Cause the OnlyFans server is is finito. Two harlots. It's a session of free cosmetic surgery with Doctor Love down in Florida. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Black China in the fire shorts, Elisa Megan in the booty expo.
exposed shorts straight out the gate. Black nah. China throwing hands like Rob Kardashian's attorneys. But these two <laughs> are... Nah, nah, this is hilarious. Yo, wait, wait, wait. First of all, yo, how they in a boxing match and fight like they at the club? <laughs> Nigga, yo, these bitches fight like they still trying to pull hair. Even with the head thing on and gloves on. They're fighting like they're still trying to pull hair. Round one, fight. Black China in the fire shorts. Elisa Megan in the booty exposed shorts. Straight out the gate. Black China throwing hands like Rob Kardashian's. I'm going to keep it real with you, though. Salute to the outfits, though. Like, if you want to have some women boxing, especially influencers, I'm not talking professionals. I'm talking about influencers. Man, if y'all don't put that BBL on display, man, like, what the fuck? At least had a BBL on display, bro. Attorneys, but these two harlots holding on to each other instead of just boxing. Wait a minute. Black China tapped into a stripper roots. She's giving the referee a lap dance. He nearly <laughs> hopped on her back for a piggyback ride. Get it together, ref. Book your session for after the fight. Oh, All right, shit. let's try this again. A little bit of backstory on our two competitors. Elisa Megan is a retired veteran. She was a staff sergeant in the Air Force. Meanwhile, Black China was on staff at your local strip club, descending <laughs> from the air until she started landing on notable men's penises. Both ladies throwing hands oh, with the force of three grains of salt. Rumor has it reporters sitting ringside stated this fight could have been handled in the shade room comment section. Now that I think about it, don't that referee look familiar? I could have swore that was former UFC light heavyweight champion Rashad Evans. Homie must have already already completed the game now nah, he just doing the side quest the first round comes to a close and the advantage in the fight goes to the people who didn't pay to watch this yeah i ain't gonna lie the bbo's on display she got some cheekage over here some good cheekage right there Damn. lord have mercy lord we have must stay focused brothers we must stay focused brothers we must stay focused round is that dr umar two <laughs> Fight. <laughs> this is less of a fight and more of a tussle, but somehow the hood is standing at attention. Black China in the corner getting worked. How you getting beat by a woman who punching and twerking at the exact same time? That lower body is unbelievable. Look at the body. God. Look at that bubble butt. Thighs. I mean, that's the power generators, right? It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Yes, daddy. Oh shit. Just a moment, send them the same way. And a box back to you. Evans would reset the two women to resume round two. <laughs> nah. Uh -huh. For a woman whose prior career was spent in heels, Black China got terrible balance. That's it. Enough of this shit. <laughs> oh shit. Cold clock. Black China with two right hands. <laughs> Yo, she kicked the bitch off of her, bro. This is not even a boxing match. This is just some hood shit, bro. Wait a minute, Megan getting frustrated from getting a two-piece decided to rush Black China and push her into the dirt. Much to our surprise, this wasn't even a subtraction of any points. They're gonna end the second round. <laughs> Rashad Evans doing the best to keep his hands to himself. His wife sitting front row. He touched the wrong location. His Father's Day gift might be child support. <laughs> I won't lie. This cheek is over here good too. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Final round, <laughs> fight. Into the final round we go. Both women out here looking like sock em boppers. Is there any technique? Nope. Combos? Hell no. Just spam the punch button and hope for the best. I've seen better fights in a junior high school playground. I've had it. Everyone's getting a timeout. How nice of Rashad to give us a second to take a look at that ass. <laughs> And now for the final 30 seconds of the fight. It just dawned on me. This is the human personification of what happens in your dream sequence when you try to battle against a sleep paralysis demon. Whole lot of swinging ain't shit connecting. They should have put two kangaroos in the main event. The people would have got their money's worth. There's more contacts between each of these women's ass cheeks clapping together than the gloves hitting the opponent's face. Both women completely out of breath, but here comes China with a charging punch. <laughs> Ref, just go ahead and ring the bell. Get these Popeye's thighs the hell out the ring. They're so exhausted to the point that they stopped fighting each other so they can breathe. I thought Shorty was getting the 10 count. She just trying to get 10 breaths. Look at China arms. Hands is heavy. Pregnancy of the fist. She don't even want to stand up straight no more. Time. This 
got to be the most underwhelming celebrity fight I've ever seen in my life. Outside of the few angles of the butt cheeks, I could have spent my time watching pigeons. Outside of that two piece from Black China, Elisa Megan controlled the entire fight. I'd say she won. And your winner, by unanimous decision, a draw? This is bullshit! If this ain't a load of malarkey, I don't know what is. Go raise your children, darling. Get your ass up out the ring. Clipping toenails was more exciting than this shit. I mean, is that Flavor Flav? Here you guys, I'm going home. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! Hey, <coughs> I don't know who this guy is, but he's funny. I like him. All right. He's funny. So boom. This guy is funny. Shit. Check out this guy's content. He, he seems like he's funny. All right. 40s, 50s, 60s. All right. Anyway, um, somebody says Channel 5 dropped the video on Oblock. Apparently, I'm in the video. <laughs>